Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen, and my name is Lord of Nod. And I wanted to go ahead and bring you this game between me, which is Nod, and my ladder partner, ladder, ladder opponent, a guy by the name of Hispro. And the reason I'm actually doing this game is to really talk to and cater to some people who are not the masters and the grandmasters and uh, the diamonds of the world. And this is me, who's a gold-level Protoss, playing against a gold-level Zerg. And what I did want to do and talk to you about was, this is a game where I wanted to show you the persistence, uh, and that sometimes can pay off. So I've got this probe going, I've got and blocked his initial expansion, he scouted me out, I'm just building probes, we've got gas here, I've got gas before gateway, he's doing, done the extractor trick and that's what he's trying to go do to make sure that everything is working properly. Now, I see what he's doing and he's still not expanded and that basically gives me an indication that this guy is either going to go Roach first and I hate Roaches. As, as a Protoss, I have no defense to a 7RR. And when something like that happens, I saw him take that out and I'm saying, well, he's going to be doing something. He's going to go two base Roach and I can't block that. So what I do is I block my main off. I block my main off. I want to kill this extractor off. So I'm making a Zealot to go try and kill that. I'm making a port. So this is black blocked off. I've got my Sabinetics going for it. Another pylon to go here. He's going to take this part out. And I am getting a cannon here to take care of these two. So as soon as I see that, he understands what's happening. Now any Protoss worth their salt in a gold level game. If he does something as weird as this, he is going Stargate. And he knows that, right? So you will see that he'll want to go straight into an evolution chamber. He'd want to go and build spore crawlers everywhere. And they build really quickly. Okay, so he, he'll have sizable defense coming in when I come here. So that's a great response. You see, there he goes. Builds one spore crawler, builds another one, builds another one, builds another one. I think some, that's an overkill, but he went straight. And that's an interesting thing to do. He's got this one guy here. He's figuring it out. This guy's killed one. And this thing is blocked off well. I put in another photon cannon to block everything. And I am bumping Void Race right now as soon as I can. But because of the delay of the extractor trick here, my gas has been substantially delayed. So you see, I can't be pushing both of them simultaneously. They're delayed and I'm not getting optimum use. Uh, this guy is just going to be sitting around doing the zergling dance and I think we are in status quo right now. While that's happening, I've got one phoenix coming in, three of these guys coming in and if you look at units lost, it's I've lost 450 resources. I have no idea why, but uh, we are I'm getting sniped here, but I just saw a great opportunity. So take out one, take out two, take out three, take out four, take out five, before he can do anything. Um, I will probably be able to take out the Evo Chamber, so no upgrades. I move here, these two just spawn. I lose one, I lose the Phoenix, I lose one Void Ray, take out a Queen, take out an Evo Chamber, supply block him and I move back and that's the interesting part I move back and that's that's going to be the theme of this entire game now we are pretty much a one base uh, Protoss against this uh, he's building a spire he's and he's responding excellently well by making hydrolysis because they will just own these guys if they are left in the f open I'm building level one um, attack. I do need to get out of the space, otherwise I'm dead. So I build a robotics, and instead of just breaking down my gate, I use a warp prism. A warp prism to go figure it out. I see that he scouted me here. I said, well, this probably is not a great idea to be going in. And since I don't know what's happening, I send these guys out. And I decide that this is a good place to be 
making my first expansions. And while he's doing this, he says, hmm, blocked off guy, I can do ventral sacs or I can do niders. And he decides ventral sacs. And if you see that, I've got this one guy to scout here. He's got ventral sacs and these guys are going to be just dreaming into my main base. He's just, I think this is just overkill on this, on his part, but so be it. And he's developed this. He's got investors going. He's got investors because he's seen that I've gone Fleet Beacon because that's the natural evolution. And I love this baby. So I decided to go and go mothership with carriers. And I have no gas at all. So in, in come these guys. I happen to snipe one. They take out some of these guys. They just now move into my base. They take out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And ten units were taken out by him. And I'm again behind, but I don't attack. I don't push. And he goes and goes third base. And this is interesting because he's now got a substantially stronger army than me. All these guys. But here comes Mothership. And he currently has no detection. Well, I don't see anything. Yeah, no, there is one. There is the detection. And I'm standing here more carriers are coming in and he should have pushed right now and killed me off but he didn't and I survived and while doing this this base is up and running I'm, I've got gas going in more probes transferring here to go do stuff and they're just all sitting together and figuring out what to do I think there's some probes in there no. come on probe come on probe and I can see you probe there you are just three of them standing there doing... Huh, I forgot about them. And while we're doing this, we're waiting. And he's just building up his army and building up his army. Another 19 hydralisks coming in. Some spine crawlers at the main. And he's now three base on this. And I've spot some of these creep tumors, take them out. And just look at this army strewing in. So it's 141 army against an 80 that's a 60 difference in uh, in army and he tries to come and take me out and the mothership survives and because it's protected the mothership looks here she pours everyone into there and I had half a mind to attack, but I said, no, I'm going to move back. And really interesting again, because I did not attack and I moved back. And I kept building another mothership and more carriers and more interceptors. And he said, well, corruptors are the way to go. Now he's going to push into the main. I'm going to redeploy this here. And I'm just going to stay in the base because he really can't look up. These guys can't shoot in there. All these corruptors are gonna go. And they just get eaten alive by... And right now, I have my entire army. My entire army is five of these carriers and one void ray. And his army is this behemoth army here. But it's just the position I'm in. And again, I send all of these here. I have no idea why I did this. They went here. They nearly got sniped. And he moved back. And he moved back. I went and dropped them here. That was such an unwise thing to do because they were transferring here. And they will now move back all the way back here. And he moved back. Again, if he had attacked me, I would have died. So there were so many opportunities for him to kill me off. And sometimes it's important as a Zerg to just go push because you always will have more numbers than me. Look at what he saw. He saw that I have one base. If he just scouted me out and taken this base, I would have died. But he didn't. And that's the time I said, well, let me expand into my third which will be my natural. And I'm sending more of these guys here. 
I think they're just oversaturated. I don't know why I sent them here because it didn't make sense. And here comes this huge 165 army to take on, 185 army to take out this 102 army. Nearly half, right? Just nearly half. And all that, but there's the mothership. There's eight carriers. And there's the one void ray. And that's all I have. That's the entire thing I have. And we are standing here and we are waiting for something to happen. He's already on third. I think he's going to go on a fourth. And he's making a fifth here. So this guy is big now. He's 183. He's got Burrow. He's got Neuroparasite coming in because he said, you know what, let's take him out using these investors. And I think he was just playing with me. But... I'm just this doggone pit bull who refused to die. And, well, I didn't die. And I kept on building units. I did extended thermal lands. And I am building Colossi. Because I know he keeps on attacking with this. And this is a big army. This is a 200 army taking on a 134 army. So if you, if you look, 200 versus 134, 190 versus 134. And he pulled back. And he pulled back. I have no idea why. And I think he's going to attack soon because he's going to be like, you know what, Just let's just go and do this. And here comes the big push. When he does do the big push, these guys are standing here. He's going to just flank left. I never left the confines of this space. And here he comes. Big push coming. A big war everywhere. Neuroparasite 1, Neuroparasite 2, Neuroparasite 3, Neuroparasite 4, 5, 6. But everything goes down. That was a 130 army. I lost 10. He lost nearly his whole army. And I say, hey, this is a good time. This is nice. Let me try and push some. And he's making 22 circlings. He's rolling in money. And I decide, well, this is a good time. It's why don't we take out some of his army and it's why don't I do my push and here he comes and here's where the Colossi pay for themselves. So if you look, 11 kills, 21 kills, 19 kills, 6 kills, 19 kills, 20 kills, 4 kills, 9 kills and just basically go to town here just try and take out this whole thing while doing this he basically starts taking out this entire part with this push two of these guys here carrier standing here and I just bring my entire army back again and this is it and he says you know what this is just not worth it but look he had 2800 minerals 348 gas He's mined out here, he's mined out here, he's nearly mined out here. But this is open, and this is not even started. But I now have a really strong army here. If I had pushed here, I can take all his tech out. All of his tech. And that's the part. I think he was just got frustrated with the patience and the perseverance. He could have killed me a hundred times. So this is just what I wanted to talk to you about. Being a very persistent player. Come on, this is gold leagues. This is not diamond. This is not master. This is not grandmaster. This is just the goals. And lots of us in uh, the StarCraft 2 forums aren't as big and as great players. And the path to success is often going through bronze and through silver and through gold. And I'm not saying this is the great game. It probably was a horrible game that I played. But it talks about persistence. It talks about timing. It talks about scouting. It talks about being figuring out what you are good at and going for it. And that's all I wanted to say. And I hope you liked it. And I will see you guys next time.